Hello everyone, this is Carol, and I'm here to share with you a mini album that I just completed. Uh, I've been working on this album since yesterday, and it's for my youngest granddaughter who turned two on yesterday, and her party is today in about 45 minutes. So I just, like I said, I just got done, so I wanted to share it, put it on video before I passed it on. So it's going to be a very quick video and I'm not going to share with you everything that I used to put the album together but I will share with you the paper pad, the stack that I used. This is the paper pad that I used and it's the specialty paper, Disney, and I used every sheet out of this stack and it comes with 24 sheets and I had some some left over as I trimmed off of each page. So next time I do an album like this, I'm going to really have to think it through before I start cutting because uh, it seems as though I'm wasting some papers. can probably make some 3x3 three three cards or so with what I have. But I used all 24 sheets of this pad and I used about 4 sheets out of this stack. Here. The album measures nine and a half by nine and a half and a, I believe, four inch spine. Close to four inches is three and three quarters is the spine. The pages are nine by nine. This is my front and it just says, this paper is so busy. So I used the Cricut and just cut out happy birthday and then I put some number twos all over it and a star. Um, here is my spine and I don't know if you can see where I've also cut out some number twos and stuck those to the ribbon here and some of Minnie's, of Mickey's little head pieces, little faces on those on the trim here. And this album is so big so I'm probably going to have to slide it to keep it in frame. But uh, I used envelopes to create the album, and I used six of them plus a piece of cardstock. So she has about 16 pages. The um, photos, she, she's not a scrapbooker, uh, the baby's mom, and so I tried to make it simple where she can just place her pictures. I did most of the mats at four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then I have some fold outs in which she will have to trim because I did those at four by six. So she will have to trim those down somewhat. And so I think I've told you everything about the album. And so now I'm just going to show it. When you open it up on this side, here are my fold outs. And this place here I just left for her to do some journaling. There. And this one the same. And so this gives her an extra eight places for photos. Here. Then this page, I didn't want to cover up Mickey. And here is a photo map four by four and a quarter by six and a quarter there. And this is the next page where it just has uh, two photo two uh, mats here. Here's a pocket that houses two additional tags at four by six so she will have to trim those photos down somewhat and the reverse size on all my mats are cardstock. This is the next page as you can tell. A couple of pages I was able to fit a wallet size photo mat there. And then the pocket has an extensive tag here that measures I think a nine by eight and a half. And she can fit a, a two 
two uh, standard size photos here. Do a little bit of journaling on back and also add an additional photo right there. And then this page here just has uh, have the dry adhesive right there. As you can see, just two photo mats here, another pocket. If I had time, I would line these, but I want to get this album out of here. I've been working on it, like I said, since yesterday. On this page here, you can see another large tag, a journaling spot. And this page here, another pocket. I don't usually make albums this large. I think this is probably the third one that I've created this size. And this paper is so pretty. And mom has taken already so many pictures and the party hasn't even begun yet. She had a day on, her birthday was yesterday. She turned two. And on Thursday, she went to Disneyland to have a photo shoot there. So we have been quite busy. We had a family photo shoot last weekend at the beach because my daughter came out with her two children from Colorado and they will be staying with me for most of the summer. She has since gone back to Colorado. And so we are quite busy. They are, he just turned five. So I'm working on another mini album. His theme was the Ninja Turtles. So I need to do a, another mini. Or should I say not so many? So she's going to be able to get a lot of photos in this album. There's Donald Duck. And I mostly do these videos so I can get you guys' uh, comments on how they look. But I also do them so that I can go back and reference them if I am to make another one. So I like to take my time on page by page so I can see, remember what the elements are. Even though I do take pictures of them as well. I have another pad of that same paper because I thought my... The second pad that I used, I bought for my grandson's mini because I thought he was having a Disneyland theme. And they changed it to Ninja Turtles. So I thought I was going to do a boy book and a girl book. I love this paper right here. This one. And now we are at the last page with Pluto. And then I have two more pullouts here. This is my Disney mini album. Hope you guys like it. 
So you see, this is the back. I haven't put my love from grandma stamp on it yet. But this is the back. This is the back of the mini. The side again. And the front of the mini. So guys, I appreciate your comments. Thank you for looking at this video, taking your time out of your busy day. And let me know what you think. I just want to say to, hello to all my subscribers, old and new, and may God bless you. Take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.